If you're saying the phrase, I'm not racist, I'm not sexist, I'm not homophobic, I'm not queerphobic, then you have a lot more work to do. See, welcome back to Black Minister University, this is episode four, and today we're doing some activist training on the basis of the phrase, I'm not racist. So let's break it down. Racism, sexism, queerphobia are all societal isms that we're born with. Um, when you're born into a society that's fundamentally flawed with things like racism, colorism, sexism, queerphobia, which includes homophobia, transphobia, etc., these are things that we simply just don't avoid. They're naturally seeped into us because these issues are perpetuated on TV, they're perpetuated in music, they're perpetuated in books, and they're perpetuated in our schools and everywhere else that we go to. And so, because these are issues that are always constant wherever we are and they're perpetuated everywhere, there's something that there's there are issues that are seeped into us as we grow in society. And the only way to eradicate these from us is by intentional, constant, active work so that we are becoming better act activists and allies. The moment that we start ignoring working on ourselves and we are content with the phrase I'm not racist is the moment that the isms have taken power over us. You see, to overcome all of those isms, it takes active and dedicated work. That's why it's called being an anti-racist, being an anti-sexist, etc. is that you have to you can't just be content with, you know, existing. You have to be content with being actively against the thing. And that's what happens most is that we hear people who say, oh, I'm not racist, but then we'll do something racist to you. And the reason is that oftentimes we always, we always examine racism or sexism or something else as large acts. acts. You only can be racist if you yell a slur at somebody. You only can be racist if you do something extreme. But sadly, that's not the reality. The reality is that racism is much more encompassing than just the extremes. And so it's the small little things every day that we have to be focused on. And then when the moment that we're not focused on them, that's the moment that we're allowing ourselves to slip into complacency and that complacency will equal more racism. However, if we are dedicated to anti-racist, anti-sexist, etc. work, then when those moments do come up, when the biases in our bodies, in our, in our minds come out of us, we can check our own selves. You see, it's not, it's not, we every day have the opportunity to check ourselves when we do commit error. Because in all of us, we might say something sexist, racist, queerphobic, whatever. And we might think something like that. It's our jobs to check ourselves, to check our line of thinking, and to then change our, our ways. Because when we're actively working in this, in this anti-racist, anti-ism space, we're, we're constantly moderating what we think and how we move and how we think. And when we're constantly moderating those things, yes, it's a little tiring, however, but we're, we'll be weeding out the problematic thoughts and sayings that are within us. And that's, yes, it is a lot of work and yes, it might be a little tiring. However, I think it's so much more work, so much more worth it if we are slightly more tired to ease the burden of somebody else who's marginalized. Is it not worth it to put extra effort in to ensure that you are anti-queerphobic when there are queer individuals who are fa facing queerphobia every single day and they're tired of that? Is it not worth it if you are actively and tired, you're actively being anti-racist and it's yes, it's a little tiring, but you're, you know, the people of color in your life or the black people around you are constantly tired of facing racism. See, we have to be, we have to make it worth being tired because 
the more tired we are, we potentially can alleviate somebody else's pain. And that's what we all hope to do. So if you're saying I'm not racist, keep working. And I'll drop some resources, maybe a different video, and talk more about it.